since I posted a video, but today we are doing the last of the gold bucket reviews for 2019. If you guys have been following along and subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I deemed this series the gold bucket review because of the glittery gold bucket where I keep all my empties when I'm done with them. So like I mentioned before in the last review video, I am in the process and have been for quite some time of switching over my makeup and personal care products to cleaner, healthier versions that are non-toxic, cleaner ingredients. And so you'll see in this bucket, there is kind of, there's some products that are definitely not clean and I'll mention those. But as I talked about in my last gold bucket review video, I will leave the EWG rating for these products um, on the screen for you guys so you guys can check them out. Again, if you're not familiar with Environmental Working Group, they are a third party non-biased company that tests the ingredients of products. So let's get into the review. I have a full bucket. I have been collecting these since the last video, which, um, so let's get some of the bigger stuff out of here. So this first one is the everyone brand, um, lotion. This one is the coconut lemon scent. This is the three in one hands face body lotion. This is a pretty big size. It's 32 fluid ounces. I actually picked this up at Walmart. That's the place where I have found it to be the most affordable. And I think this is under $10 for this giant um, 32 full ounces. And usually I will pick a couple of these up and get them for my house, one for my kid's bathroom and one for mine. So that is this one. And I really, really love this one. They are a B Corp, which I love. They are cruelty free. They have no synthetic fragrances. Um, they're paraben free. And this one is really good. So there's that. The next one is this Ren Pure Tea Tree Mint Refreshing Moisture Body Wash. This uh, Ren, Ren Pure is a company that I was new to me that I was trying out. Um, this one doesn't have any sulfates or parabens or phalafetates or formaldehyde or propylene glycol. However, I will say that after using this and looking at some of the ingredients um, here on the back, I'm a little concerned about some of the like fragrances um, that are used in this. Um, it says that it um, contains natural mint. However, I don't think that the um, EWG rating is very good on this one. I'll have to look it up again and I'll put it here on the screen for you. But the other thing is this is 19 fluid ounces and it's pretty expensive. I found this one at Target. I think this one is pretty expensive for like the price per ounce. So I don't know that I'll repurchase this again. I'm still on the hunt for a better body wash, but that's what's in the bucket. Okay, you guys have heard me talk before about these Burt's Bees makeup remover wipes. I love them. This is the um, the rose, rose water one, and I love these. You guys have seen these in my gold bucket reviews several times, but these are the rose water ones, and I have two that I've used up. Uh, the other makeup wipe that I tried was... This one, the Oology Beauty Fragrance-Free Hypoallergenic Facial Towelettes. I got these from CVS, I think. Uh, and these, although they're fragrance-free, these don't have a very good EWG rating either, so I won't repurchase these. The other thing I'll say about these is um, they were not very well moisturized. Even though they're in a package like these, and it has like the little thing to snap it close so air doesn't get in there. It's it was almost like when you were using it, there was just hardly any product on these to actually remove your makeup. So that was kind of a disappointment. So I definitely will not repurchase these at all. Um, let's get into, I think, oh, all the way at the bottom, another Burt's Bees makeup wipe. This is the Sensitive Skin 
formula. So I think I've pretty much tried all the formulas of these. I've tried the blue one, the white, and then the pink. Uh, and I mean, I liked these as well, the, the white sensitive skin formula. This one says it's for all skin types. And anyways, I just love these and they have a good rating on EWG. So the next thing that's in here is a couple toothpaste. This one is the Toms of Maine. This is the anti-plaque whitening toothpaste. I really love this one. I mean, it's toothpaste. I enjoy that it's fluoride free. If you have not read about fluoride, I encourage you go look it up. I'll try to leave some articles here about fluoride. Equally, I have the Toms of Maine children's toothpaste in the Silly Strawberry. This one is also fluoride free. This is what my kids use. And I just put this in my bucket because I wanted to show you guys um, a good alternative for kids toothpaste. Um, let's get into like probably the one terrible thing in this whole bucket. This is the Kristen S purple uh, conditioner. This is brass reducing, shine reducing. I highlight my hair. Um, and so I was recommended by my hairstylist to use a purple shampoo for those things. And I mean, this is just not safe at all, but it's been in my shower for probably over six months and I just um, finally used it up. So I threw it in the bucket. This is not something that I will repurchase. Um, I'm trying to research and see if there's an alternative for um, a healthier, non-toxic purple shampoo. So I'll keep you posted on that. The next thing in the gold bucket is this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water to remove um, makeup. So this is alcohol, oil, and fragrance free. This actually has a really good rating. I think it's a two or a three on EWG. I'll leave it here on the screen for you guys. Um, but I really, really like this stuff and I kind of was debating like which is the better way to remove makeup, the wipe or or this. And I like both. The wipes are a lot more convenient, I will say. Uh, but I do think that this lasts a little bit longer. Next is the Native Body Wash in here. I have a couple body washes. This one is sulfate and paraben free. However, I have a really hard time with the Native brand. They don't have the best rating on EWG because of some of the uh, fragrances and um, ingredients. So this is not something that I will repurchase. Next up for body wash is the Toms of Maine coconut, creamy, creamy coconut. I really do like this. The only thing I don't like is the price per ounce. It's pretty expensive. And so the only time I ever buy this is when I can find it on sale, honestly, because it is a really small bottle. Let's see how many ounces. Well, this one is 11 and a half. Both of these brands I think are kind of expensive for the price per ounce. Um, so I am always looking for a good body wash, but I, I do like this and I obviously you've seen this before, so I will repurchase it, but I try to find them on sale if I can. Um, again, I have two native deodorants in here. This is the travel size one. I have kept this one in my purse before and I like it. It's just, it's just really convenient to have in my purse. Again, I have a love-hate relationship with Native because I don't think that the rating is the best that it could be on EWG. And um, they also have been bought out by P&G, which is kind of a concern of mine as well. So I won't repurchase this. I have also found an alternative deodorant too that's aluminum free that I'll share with you guys soon. Um, okay, so I have a couple uh, Root Pretty products in here. You guys know that I love Root Pretty um, and I repurchase their stuff all the time over and over again. Um, the first thing is this Pretty Hair Day uh, hairspray. This is a sample size and one of the things I love about Root Pretty is that they do a lot of smaller sample sizes. So if you don't want to invest in the larger, you know, products because you're not sure if it'll work for you. They do offer a lot of sample sizes. And so I am looking for an alternative to a traditional aerosol hairspray. I don't use hairspray at all very much anymore, except for like special events or occasions. So that's why I got the little travel size to try it. And 
I think it worked, but it's a, I mean, it's a spray and it's not aerosol. And so this one I felt weighed my hair down and made it feel more weighed down and wet that I, that I wanted it to. So this is not something that I will repurchase. However, if you are a hairspray fan and use hairspray all the time, I highly suggest checking these guys out. I have a 10% off code in the description box that you guys can check out. The Root Pretty Setting Silk, this is one of my favorites. You've seen it in my videos time and time again. I will repurchase this. I love this stuff. And then last but not least, I have two of their mascaras. Um, these are, these are their, they only have one size of mascara. They're a lot smaller, um, but I do really, really love these. And I do love that they're a little bit smaller. They're great for, I mean, they're great for every day, but they're also great for travel too, because they're a smaller size. And obviously I love them because I have repurchased it twice. I did find a new mascara that I'm trying out. I have been trying out that I can't wait to tell you guys about as well. And then lastly in the bucket are beauty counter products. You guys know that I love beauty counter. So let's go through these. This is the Nourishing Cream Cleanser, and Beauty Counter is now EWG certified. You can find them on the EWG website, um, and I love this cleanser. If you have just like normal to maybe combination skin, this is a great cleanser to you or for you, and so I really, really like this. I repurchase this time and time again. The next beauty counter product is the Nourishing Day Cream. I also love this product. It's just a great light everyday moisturizer and I think it works really well. Next is the um, Tint Skin Foundation. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a buildable foundation. I wear the shade Linen. And then this is the Clickable Touch Up Concealer Pen. I like that this has like a brush on applicator and you just click the product out right there. Last but not least is the Beauty Counter Volumizing Mascara. Now I will say Beauty Counter's mascara is a wax based formula. You have to warm it up for it to have the best application possible. I will be very honest and say that Beauty Counter's mascara is not my favorite. It's not my favorite formula. The brush is pretty big. It's hard for me to get um, get in my lashes and really get the product on there that I want. And so if you are not used to using a more natural based mascara, if you pick this up, I highly suggest warming it up before you use it. I usually will like rub it in my hands this way or I will stick it in my bra while I am getting ready and use it last so that it can warm up with the heat of my body. I know that sounds super weird, but that just is what it is. But my biggest thing is with this mascara is that I like products to work straight out of the package. I don't wanna do anything to them. I don't wanna have to alter or adapt. So that's why I would not like solely fully recommend. There are tons of beauty counter products that I love that I would recommend, but this is not the first choice that I would, which is why I've been using Root Pretty so much because their formula is just a lot better. And then more recently, I've been trying out the Honest Beauty Mascara, which I absolutely love and probably going to do like a whole full review on it for you guys. So that is the end of the bucket, you guys. So anyways, those are all the products that I've used up and that I've been enjoying recently. I will leave links to these products below if you guys wanna check them out. Some of them will contain discount codes and affiliate codes. Again, thank you for supporting my channel through using those affiliate codes or discount codes. You're not charged any more or any less. It's just a little way to give back to my channel. So if you guys have not subscribed, go ahead, click the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and become a part of my YouTube family here. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I don't know how many more videos I'm gonna do before we close out 2019, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for just being a part of this journey with me and I will see you guys in the next video.